Blow, by Charles Hoyfort, Part 1, Chapter 15K, in the London Daily Mail, September 18th, 1905, and following issues are accounts of a young man who had been arrested in Paris, charged with vagrancy. It was impossible to understand him. In vain had he been tried with European and Asiatic languages, but, by means of signs, he had made known that he had come from Lisbian. Isar was the young man's word for a chair. A table was a lotoba, and his sonar was his nose. Mr. George Robert Sims, well-known criminologist, as well as a story writer, took the matter up scientifically. As announced by him, the mystery had been solved by him. The young man, an imposter, had transposed letters in fashioning his words. So the word raise, transposed, becomes Isar. But what has a raise to do with a chair? It is said that true science is always simple. A chair raises one, said Mr. Sims, simply. Now take the word sonar. As we see, when Mr. Sims points it out to us, that word is a transposition of the word snore, or is almost. That's noses, a relation to noses. The criminologists are not banded like some scientists. In Paris, the unbanded wise men said that Mr. Sims' transpositions were far-fetched. With a freedom that would seem reckless to more canny scientists, or without waiting three or four months to find out what each was going to say, they expressed opinions. The savant sat in the year 1927 were cannier, but one can't say that their delays boosted the glories of science. One of the wise men of Paris, who accused Mr. Sims of fetching too far, was the eminent scientist, Monsieur Hogg. Take the young man's word order, for God, said Monsieur Hogg. Transpose that, and we have Dio, or very nearly. Dio is Spanish for God, the young man is Spanish. Another distinguished wise man was Monsieur Roti. He rushed into print, while Monsieur Hogg was still explaining. Consider the word soccer, for house, said Monsieur Roti. Unquestionably we have a transposition of the word cosa, with a difference of only one letter, and cosa is Italian for house. The young man is Italian. Le Temps, September 18th, another wise man, a distinguished geographer, this time, identified the young man as one of the Russian Dauk hobbers. Where would we be, and who would send the young ones to school, if all the other wise men of our tribes had such independence? If it were not for a conspiracy that can be regarded as nothing short of providential, so that about what is taught in one school is taught in the other schools, one would spend one's lifetime learning and unlearning in school after school. As it is, the unlearning can be done after leaving one school. The young man was identified by the police as Ronaldo Augustini, an Austrian whose fingerprints had been taken several times before, somewhere else, when he had been arrested for vagrancy.